for special and affordable ways to gift your loved ones. So I have to map with HEB to show you a very sweet idea that is good for you and unique at the same time. So I saw this at HEB and I couldn't help myself. Look how cute it is. It's a cast iron in the shape of the state of Texas, a miniature. This little guy here too is a little miniature as well of their traditional cast iron. And they also have this big boy over here. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make a recipe of a chocolate chip cookie that is made on a skillet. I learned from Rocco and I'm gonna teach you new. It is keto, gluten-free, sugar-free, better for you, but tastes amazing. All right, so this is how you're going to do. You're going to add your butter. You're going to add brown sugar, erythritol. Granulated sugar, erythritol. Now, this is a substitute for your regular conventional sugar that is really bad for you. This is a better for you version to make it this sweet, but not bad for you. We're going to mix them together. There we go. Now, we're going to add one egg at a time. Baking soda. Vanilla. And sea salt. I'm, do, I'm using flake sea salt. We're going to add almond flour. And that makes the chocolate chip cookie gluten-free. Going to mix, to mix, to mix, mix, mix. <laughs> Every time we do a little mixing or a blender on Women of Today, we have to do a little dance. It's just how it works. After you mix all the ingredients together, you have a nice consistency. You're going to add your refined sugar-free chocolate chips. Mmm, that looks good, doesn't it? I forgot to show you guys this spatula. Let me clean this up. But this is from HEV as well. They have these really cute little sets. They're all Christmas and it comes with a little cookie cutter. It's a great gift set as well. So all I'm going to do here, you're going to grease your cast iron and you're going to add the mixture inside, and you're going to cook on a preheated oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. This miniature cast iron are the cutest thing, guys. It makes a great individual gift. Just so you get a sense of amounts, one batch fills up one large cast iron or two of the miniature ones. Okay guys, look how adorable this is, even before it bakes. Remember, if you're doing the miniatures, you gotta keep a close eye on them because they're going to cook differently than the large skillet. Deal? Okay, you're going to cook into it's firm and brown on the top. You can use a toothpick to see if it's ready as well. I'm gonna put mine in the oven. Can't wait for that smell to start coming out. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm gonna set this baby over here and let them cool off. Look how beautiful and sweet this is. Now let's wrap this baby. Okay, this one we're gonna lay flat and we're gonna bring the wrapping this way and around the shape of the cast iron, like that. Gonna add a red ribbon. I'm gonna add this tag right here, also from HEB. There we go, guys. Homemade, better for you, and affordable. Happy holidays. Beijos.